Well, 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 what a pleasant surprise. For the first time in Ballon d'Or history, a defensive midfielder has won the Ballon d'Or. Ladies and gentlemen, Rodri is the 2024 Ballon d'Or winner. Oh boy, and we've, we've got a lot to talk about. We have got a lot to talk about. Well, first and foremost, before we continue, congratulations to Rodri. He had a very good season. Um, congratulations to him, his family, and all his entourage to City staff and everybody that needs to be congratulated um we'll get on to you know it's worth it so on and so forth but the first thing i'd like to go in and, and to mention is um that my heart goes out to to vinnie jr um i was listening to um fabrizio romano's you know um video stating that apparently it was only today a couple like we're roughly midday here in europe that um you know vinnie's camp in real madrid and whatnot heard that and Vinny was in, indeed not going to be, um, uh, not going to win the Ballon d'Or. And so to hear it that late and from what we gather is that he already had, you know, things planned, what he was going to wear, you know, the speech most likely ready. His agents were in Paris. Um, they were waiting for him to go. He had his family, his friends all there ready for him. Probably everything was already planned, this, that, and the other. And that midday today is when the information came out that, yeah, no, he's, or that he, he, he wasn't going to have it. And from what I gather is that at that point, that completely incensed um, Real Madrid. And from what I gather, I think all the players or all the Real Madrid players that were, you know, eligible to win awards that day, they 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 all they canceled the flight. Um, they were probably all going to fly on, you know, a private jet together. The president, Carlo Ancelotti, Mbappe, Vinny, Bellingham, Carvalho, all those players were all going to fly on a private jet to go to the ceremony. But in light of the, the news that broke that Vinny wasn't going to win it, they felt aggrieved and they boycotted it. And from, from, a, from, a, how do I put this from a player? If I'm Vinny, I understand that. And I, I probably would have done probably pretty similar. However, from the club's perspective, I think the only thing that you can have is that it, it looks very like a sore loser. Um, people are going to go and say that it was Rob this and the other, and I'll get on to, you know, is Rodrigo deserving Ballon d'Or? Was it Rob? So on and so forth later on. But strictly looking at it, okay, what's done is done. Vinny did not win the Ballon d'Or. It went to Rodri instead. Okay. Um, perhaps most people thought that it was going to be um, that it was going to be Vinny or a Real Madrid player, whether it's Vinny or, or, or Bellingham. But no, in, in, instead it goes to, to, to Rodri. To then go and after that boycott the celebration, just for me, maybe this me, I have a third party. I don't have any vested interest in this. I know people are going to say, oh, you hate Madrid. I'm just looking at this as neutral as one can be. It just looks like you're a sore loser because it's not only that, oh, you got snubbed for that and several other things. That's the only thing you got. Yes, of course, the Ballon d'Or was the main, you know, attraction to the event, so on and so forth. But Real Madrid was nominated and won Club of the Year, Men's Club of the Year. Carlo Ancelotti won um, Manager of the Year. And Mbappe was tied with Harry Kane for most goals, so won the Gerd Muller Award. So there's three awards that Real Madrid or Real Madrid players once or, or a staff won on the day. To, to, to not go there whatsoever for me just screams. It's just like just pe pettiness, complete and utter pettiness. Now I understand, you know, that you want to go and be there in solidarity with him. And and this gets me on to this. Was it a robbery and so on and so forth? Based case, aside not not talking about, you know, the purely footballing aspect of it on um, a just pure like how the system works and how it was done to go and say that you think it's a robbery you're gonna have to provide some evidence here all right at the end of the day from what i gather the ballon d'or the way it's voted upon is basically it goes you get journalists from the top 100 fifa confederations and they all once you know you've got 30 nominees for the ballon d'or they're all asked to rank them from one to ten with your number one getting 10 points number two nine um, number three, eight, et cetera, so on and so forth, all the way to number 10 gets a single point. And from all that, all the journalists vote, give their, their rankings and the players each get all their, you know, points ranked up, tallied up. And the player with the, the and the, the player who ends up with the most points ultimately gets the Ballon d'Or. So in that sense, if you take journalists from a hundred different countries, uh, who go and vote, that's as democratic as you can be. Now, if you're going to go and say it's a robbery, now you're going to have to go and explain that you, you thought there was corruption in there. You're going to have to explain that there was collusion some some, some way, some sort. And if you don't have any evidence for it, well, then 
so, to some degree, absence of evidence is evidence of absence. If you can't prove and show beyond any reasonable doubt that there was an incursion, that these so seemingly these journalists would have voted independently and been able to do so freely. And so for you to go and to say that no, it was robbed is not. Now you can go and you say that you disagree with their judgments. Fair enough. But to go and say it's a robbery in the technical sense that you think there was corruption behind the doors. And I've heard Real Madrid fans say that it was UEFA. And that's why Real Madrid, you know, bottled, um, I mean, boycotted it. I'm not saying it's not a possibility, but again, if you're saying that, you have to be able to back it up. All right. If you're making the claim, you have to be able, you have, you have the burden of proof. You have to show or give probable reason as to why you think Indeed was corrupted. And so based on that solely alone, I just think that it's a very petty move from Real Madrid to completely and utterly boycott the thing. Ancelotti won manager of the year. He wasn't there. Mbappe could have gone up there to take the girl Miller. No, wasn't there. I guess uh, the one thing I will respect is that at least they decided to do it as the entire club. So it's not like, you know, Mbappe still went. Um, but even then, like, I guess Mbappe, you know, he's already got a, a few personal accolades. But if this wasn't Mbappe, if this was some, um, I don't know if let's say this was Rodrigo who got the Gordon Miller award, um, not the Ballon d'Or, not quite the Ballon d'Or, but a lesser award. And he's not able to go because seemingly from what we gather, from what, I, what seems like it, the club made an overarching decision that no trip player, no staff, no coach, nothing is going to travel. I'd be a bit hard done by. Now, coming back more specifically to talking about in terms of footballing terms, was it a robbery? Personally, for me, I don't think that uh, it's a robbery. I personally would have had Vinny number one. I think that he's had, he's done enough to go and to get it. However, the thing that I would like to, and if you're going to get any point from my video is this point here. I just think that this year, unlike previous years, there's not really a player who clearly stands out from the rest of the lot. In this year's Ballon d'Or, I'd say they have three real players that can make a true claim to the Ballon d'Or. Vinny, Bellingham, and Rodri. All three of them. I think if either three of them won it, I think that you can make a good case for each and every one of them. And I don't think that if any of those um, won it, it would have been necessarily a clear robbery. Now, is um, Rodri more or less deserving of it than um, Vinny? Depends on how you want to argue it. I don't think that, as I said previously, Vinny had by like light years, a better season than Rodri. I think you can make a very strong case that I, why you think it should be Vinny. I think you can make an equally strong case as to why you think it should be Rodri. Yes, of course, Vinny, you know, was influential um, in through all stages of knockouts, round, stages of the Champions League. Um, but even in terms of like his GA and whatnot, obviously stats aren't everything and whatnot, but he was extremely influential, you know, in the latter stages of the Champions League and whatnot. But it's not like in terms of stat, he just completely blew everybody else out of the water, right? He's not even, well, maybe top three in terms of goals and assists or goal contributions, if that. You know, I think people like Cole Palmer, Mbappe, obviously, um, Kane had more goal contributions. So it's not like he's blowing him out of that. Um, his start of the season last year was fine. Last the last year, the start of the season was really dominated by Bellingham. He's the one who's stealing all the headlines. It was really more so in the latter parts of the season. For me, almost what I would say is that Vinny almost lost a bit more if from what i gather here and perhaps I can, you can't really go into the minds of the journalists and everything i think he lost his ballon d'or with his performance at the copa america if brazil go to even just a semi-final or get go and play um get a third place match or something i think in that case he goes and wins it because he scored i think two goals at the copa america but was suspended for the third game or suspended for the um the, the round of 16 game against colombia um uh, or was it Uruguay? No, against Uruguay that they lost to, wasn't there, didn't really perform well, hasn't been performing well in Brazil, just generally speaking. Compare that to Rodri, who's was, yes, perhaps you would say not the key architect even, for example, for City. Most people would say that last year, Phil Foden was City's best player. And then for Spain, you'd say that old La Mina Mal or even Nico Williams or you know people have you know said Dani Amo, et cetera, so on and so forth. But what I would say is that overall, I would say that Rodri was a much more consistent player. So yes, let's say even even though Vinny perhaps over that last second half of the season with Real Madrid was perhaps performing at, like at a 10 out of 10, but then for the other parts of the season, maybe early on was at like, I don't know, a six. And then Copa America was like a five. Overall, I'd say Rodri was at just a consistent eight throughout. Not, you know, blowing people like berserk or whatnot, but consistent, doing what he needs to do best. And people are going to come and say, oh yes, but you know, he didn't score. He's not doing this. And like to, to, to those people genuinely like, like this is like, I, I don't like using this term, but like zero ball knowledge football, like for, from Rodri, 
I ask you, even though I personally would say, I think Rodri's season last year was more impressive than this year's, but from a defensive midfielder, what more can Rodri do to ever win a Ballon d'Or? Because if the criteria is, oh, he didn't score in the final, Vinny scored in the final, Vinny um, was scored in every single round of the knockout stages of the Champions League, was influential in helping them win um, La Liga by scoring goals, so on and so forth. Well, then my question is, okay, but, but, but what do you expect Rodri to do? That's Vinny's job to go and finish those opportunities. Rodri, that's not what he's meant to do. How is a goalkeeper, how is a center back, how are they meant to win a, 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 a Ballon d'Or then? And um, this is not me saying that, oh, you should give it to him specifically because he's a center a defensive midfielder. No, no, no. Ultimately, it's difficult to compare different positions, which is why I think predominantly a Ballon d'Or oftentimes goes to attackers. Number one, obviously, the goals and whatnot is what you pull. It, it's what you want to be entertained by. And it's a lot easier to go and to judge based on how many goals you score. Did you, were you influential in the big games? Did you score so on and so forth? Was what Rodri does is sort of much more in the background. It's a so, sort of thing, same thing with like Busquets and things like that. Then the Busquets of the world, the, the, you know, deeper lying playmakers will never ever win it, let alone, you know, a center back or so on and so forth. Like it took a, like probably one of the best defensive performances of Virgil van Dijk in his career to get into the podium with a Ballon d'Or. If we're going to go and say that, oh no, but look, what, when did he score and so on and so forth, then you're never going to have a non-attacking player win the Ballon d'Or. And yeah, so I don't think that Vinny was necessarily undeserving of it. I just think that, yeah, for me personally, I think his Copa America perhaps strikes him down. I still think that he still did enough to be able to win it. So in my eyes personally, I don't think it's a robbery. But I'd be really curious to know um, how you guys feel about it. How um, do you guys think it's a robbery? And specifically, I'd really like to know from Real Madrid fans how you feel of uh, about um, them, your club basically boycotting the Ballon d'Or ceremony and not being there whatsoever, and seemingly doing it pretty last minute. There's a lot of points to talk about. Um, I might, you know, come back and do another video based on your guys' comments. So just let me know how you guys feel overall. Um, this whole Ballon d'Or debacle and everything. And I hope to see you guys next time. And remember, stay safe, stay kind, stay blessed. Godspeed.